Welcome to LMC. Today we're taking a look at this Mercedes-Benz A250 AMG line premium edition. It's got a two litre petrol engine with an automatic gearbox and he's on 46,712 miles. This is a really gorgeous looking car, finished off in this nice dark grey. You've got chrome accents around the windows and on the door handles. And of course, them nice star shaped AMG line wheels. Around the front, you've got LED daytime running lights as well as front parking sensors. Nice chrome features on the grille as well. And you've also got privacy glass in the side and rear. Nice little lip spoiler on the boot lid. Rear parking sensors and nice bright LED rear lights. In terms of boot space, you get a nice big boot with fixing points in all four corners. Now, in terms of the interior, it's all sleek. You've got a blacked out headliner, a nice amount of legroom with storage nets. Alcantara on the door cards with red stitching to highlight, as well as Alcantara sensors on these half leather seats. And you've even got an armrest that pulls out. These features cup holders. Up front, you've got your window controls. And you can already see this gorgeous ambient lighting. Now at the moment, it's dark purple and blue. You've got heated seat controls on the door card. Automatic lighting on the right hand side. And then half leather seats up front, nice bucket style seats with big strong bolsters. And again, red stitching to highlight the edges. You've got push the start button. Which brings up a nice clear instrument cluster, which is digital. You've also got steering wheel controls and paddle shifters, which are incredibly fun. Now, one thing to note about this lighting, as you can see, it does change every now and then. And this is customizable via the menu on the screen. Now on the screen itself, you've got maps and navigation. You've also got Bluetooth connection for your phone. You've got radio and you've also got Bluetooth and USB for media. You've also got the Mercedes apps menu. And like I mentioned, if you go through to comfort settings, you can change what colors. You've got a massive array of what you can choose. Putting the car into reverse, brings up a nice clear reversing camera and the sensors that I mentioned earlier. And then below this, you've got the climate controls, some nice storage that opens up with cup holders. You've got the dials and pad for the screen, as well as some storage, which features a USB port. with a nice design dash with some gloss pieces and matte finish pieces completing the look. Now if we go into comfort setting, you can see the colors change just like that. Very easily. So if you'd like any more information, please visit our website. And thank you very much for watching.